Soon the situation violently escalated. Police in plain clothes, men targeting us, taking away our phones and ID and breaking the camera. Uh, Americans allegedly wrongfully detained in Chinese custody. Mark Sweden, Kylie, and David Lin. We did not hear the name of this ind individual who's just received a life sentence in China. As circumstances evolved, many nations, including China, gradually reopened their borders to tourists. China is a land full of wonder, but also criticized as the epicenter of this disastrous pandemic and a country full of controversies. Are you planning to travel there soon? Well, let's talk about what awaits you there. Ni hao, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we'll dive into the challenges, safety measures, and fascinating experiences associated with visiting during these evolving times. Join us and stay until the end to find out what to expect and what to do in your next possible adventure. Now, is China open for travel? Well, yes. As of April 29, 2023, all foreigners entering China must only submit to an antigen self-test rather than a PCR test. The basic criteria are a passport, a valid visa, and an antigen self-test. Airlines won't look at the test results while boarding, and vaccination documentation is unnecessary. China has opened its borders, and all forms of visa applications, including those for tourist visas and visa-free travel, have been resumed. Those with a recent Chinese visa are permitted entry without applying for another one. China offers multiple entry options. Whether you have a valid Chinese visa, take advantage of the 144-hour visa-free transit policy in certain locations, request a port visa or landing visa, or apply for visa exemptions in specific areas like Guilin, Hainan Island, and the Pearl River Delta area. Most particular regulations, including PCR tests and health guidelines for domestic travel, have been revoked in China. Masks are not required to be worn outside of a few congested areas, and all attractions are open. You can simply apply for a visa by yourself without using a middleman if you follow the detailed instructions supplied by the Chinese embassy or consulate. Is it safe to travel to China in 2023? Well, the sad reality is no. Government travel websites in the US and Canada have expressed that you might want to exercise high caution or reconsider your travel to China. This is due to worries about the arbitrary applications of local laws, exit restrictions, and the possibility of unlawful detentions. The Chinese government has a history of enforcing local laws arbitrarily, including by imposing exit restrictions on residents of other nations and the United States without following due process. The Department of State has decided that there is a chance that American citizens could be wrongfully detained by the Chinese authorities in China. Citizens of the United States could be held without access to consular assistance or details about their alleged offense. If people from other countries are in China and the Chinese authorities believe that certain documents, data, statistics, or materials they possess are state secrets, those individuals could be detained and accused of spying. Similarly, companies from the United States and other countries doing business in China may face increased official monitoring. In some cases, they could even be detained or prosecuted. Exit restrictions are also a tactic the Chinese government employs to coerce people into helping with investigations, influencing court cases, or gaining power over other nations. Americans may only learn about an exit restriction when trying to leave China, and there may be few options for challenging it. Criminal charges may be brought against someone who participates in protests or activities that the authorities believe to be acts of secession, subversion, terrorism, or cooperation with foreign governments. Travelers should pay attention to their surroundings and stay away from demonstrations. There are more frequent security checks, police presence, and surveillance in places like the Tibet Autonomous Region, the Tibetan Autonomous Prefectures, and the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Short-notice curfews and travel restrictions might be enforced. Local authorities have implemented invasive security measures in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Muslim and ethnic minorities in the area are being imprisoned by Chinese authorities more frequently and without due process. There have been reports of camps for forced labor and extrajudicial detention. Chinese nationals who are Canadian or American citizens have had their family members jailed. You may be subject to arbitrary imprisonment if you are related to someone in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region or are of that ethnicity. 
it is advisable to sign up for the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, keep a current People's Republic of China or PRC visa on you, be cautious around large groups, and create an emergency plan. It is also strongly urged that visitors avoid using drugs in the country or before their journey. A positive drug test in China can result in immediate arrest, penalties, deportation, and a prohibition from re-entering the country even if the drug is legal elsewhere. The PRC government is also not required to alert the U.S. if a citizen of the U.S. enters China using travel documents other than an American passport and is held or arrested, which makes it quite frightening. Downloading a VPN or virtual private network before your flight to China is also a good idea. The Great Firewall is a real challenge. All Google-related websites, Google-based applications, and social media applications like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and others are restricted. But putting that aside, China is a huge and diverse country with a wide range of amazing places to visit. Every sort of traveler will find something to enjoy in China, from spectacular natural wonders to historic sites to bustling urban cities. Beijing, China's capital and cultural center, is a must-see location. This city provides ancient treasures and contemporary wonders. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the well-known Great Wall of China offers breathtaking views and an understanding of China's historic defense design as it spans magnificently through the countryside. The complex of royal palaces known as the Forbidden City, which features traditional Chinese art and architecture, is also open to visitors. There are also other enticing attractions here, like the Ming Dynasty masterpiece nearby, the Temple of Heaven, which represents the harmony between heaven and earth, and one of the biggest public squares in the world, Tiananmen Square, a key political and historical landmark. Another notable attraction would be the Beijing Zoo. There are over 450 different species included in the 5,000 animals that call the Beijing Zoo home. China's wild endangered creatures, including the giant pandas, golden monkeys, milo deer, and northeast tigers are some of the most well-liked. China's largest city and financial center, Shanghai, is a prime example of the nation's quick modernization. The Shanghai Tower and Jinmao Tower, two futuristic skyscrapers that dominate the city skyline, are evidence of its economic success. You can stroll down the Bund, a waterfront promenade studded with structures from the colonial era that provides breathtaking views of Pudong's imposing cityscape across the Huangpu River. A magnetic levitation train called the Shanghai Maglev is also one of their attractions. The Shanghai Transrapid, sometimes referred to as the Shanghai Maglev train, can move directly from the airport to the city center. This specific Shanghai Maglev train was held as the world's fastest in 2019. Its top speed of 430 km per hour or 267 miles per hour is a testament to humankind's intelligence, innovation, and technological achievement. The legendary Tang Dynasty was headquartered in the historic city of Xi'an, which has more than 3,000 years of history. The Terracotta Army, an amazing archaeological discovery of tens of thousands of life-sized clay warriors and horses guarding the tomb of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, is the most well-known site in the city. There is also a well-preserved Buddhist temple called the Big Wild Goose Temple, which provides a sweeping cityscape view. Zhang Jiajie is also a paradise for those who enjoy the outdoors and seek adventure. This Hunan Province National Park is renowned for its magnificent pillar-like rock formations, verdant woods, and breathtaking scenery. The enormous sandstone pillars, frequently veiled in mist, were the model for the floating mountains in the movie Avatar. For those looking for an adrenaline rush, the glass bridge, suspended between two cliffs, also offers an astounding experience. Ride the world's highest outdoor elevator, the Bailong Elevator, for expansive views of the surroundings. The serene Tianzi Mountain and Yuan Jiajie scenic area are ideal options for trekking and discovering Zhang Jiajie's unique natural treasures. Some of China's most beautiful scenery can be seen at Guilin, which has a charming karst landscape in the nearby town of Yangshuo. A must-do excursion is the Li Riverboat, which takes you through a region dotted with bamboo gardens, tranquil riverbank villages, and limestone peaks. Biking and hiking along the Yulong River are other great ways to discover the tranquil area. Other attractions in Guilin include the Reed Flute Cave, a colorful underground wonderland with stalactites and stalagmites. You may visit Fubo Hill and Elephant Trunk Hill for sweeping views of the city and the mountains nearby, while Yangshuo's West Street is also a crowded area with various stores, eateries, and a dynamic environment.
Now let's talk about expenses. For a single traveler, a seven-day vacation to China costs around $1,235. For a couple, $2,056, $1,622 per person. In terms of hotels, Trip.com states that the average hotel prices are approximately $65 per night in Beijing and Shanghai, while $31 in Xi'an, $30 in Zhangjiajie, $26 in Guilin, and $40 in Yangshuo. The average cost of a round-trip ticket from anywhere in the world to China is between $820 and $1,178 per person for economy class and $2,575 to $3,699 for first class. We advise setting up $32 to $65 per person each day, depending on the activities, for transportation and dining out at nearby establishments. As the third largest country in the world, China's sheer size is matched only by its beauty and magnificence. With so much to offer, travelers are guaranteed an unforgettable experience in this phenomenal nation. If you enjoy this video, you'll love this next one.